So overall, we're doing quite well, but it's time to take some care over our beautiful network. Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome back to my open TTD Let's Play. Last time we expanded our Exeter line to include a brand new station at Exeter Halt. And overall, the trains are flowing quite nicely. Now we might need a few more, but we'll sort that out this episode. Today we're going to be taking care of what we have. We're going to be looking around the network, improving and fixing and just making sure we're getting the best money out of everything. Now since last time, we had these um, this special setup on our main line where both the inside and outside tracks are served by optional forced double depots. Um, so you can actually come off the main line and the only reason you would come off the main line would be to use those depots. Now, not only have we got those ones there, but now we've got these two here, that pair there for the inside and outside, and a pair here as well. So our trains have plenty of opportunity along the line. Oh, oh hang on, there's a pair here as well. I forgot about that. Um, yep, they've got plenty of opportunity along the line as well as the depots um, on the way out of the station. Now, we haven't got any going into the station here, and this is where they split up and go in there two different ways. So the first thing we're going to do is just check out the number of passengers we've got at either end of that line. It certainly looks like we're going to need more uh, more vehicles so we definitely got plenty of people at London South not really seeing quite as much at Exeter yet but we, we're still trying to grow Exeter speaking of growing Exeter let's have a look at the local authority and the local authority currently think, think I'm poor is because of all the land I was messing around with last episode and so forth let's just get rid of that um, we don't have many options because we have little money and well actually no the money is starting to pile up so you know the options as you can see appear into view when you can afford them which is interesting personally I'd like to see all the options there and then the ones you can't afford grayed out just so you know what the what what you know what is possible let's get some more trains on this line then it looks like we've got quite a few snaking backwards and forwards and we haven't actually got a depot where we can add trains at the northern end. Uh, sorry, at the London end. So I'm just going to pop one in there temporarily. And then we'll clone pretty much any train coming down here. And we'll have a fleet of six. Why not? Off they go. This is going to be a little bit interesting to see how these trains feed out into the station. Uh, I expect them to probably take up this platform, then that platform, then probably platform 2. Uh, but because platform 1, or should I say platforms, how are we going to number these? Did that train just pick up any passengers? It's empty. Hang on a second. Where are you going? Are you going to Exeter Halt first? Oh, brilliant. Alright, 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 we'll fix this. We'll fix this by skipping all the orders of the trains coming out of there. There we go. Skip, go to London South first, please. Okay, I, I, I think I got half of them there. So you can see that they're divvying themselves up between the two different um, sets of stations, which is really good. Um, once the train speeds increase, that will work even better, because uh, there'll still be trains coming up behind the last one. And in fact, having an extra set of signals here might help, but for now we'll leave that. Okay, that's looking good. We'll come back to that soon. How are we looking at London North? Oh my goodness, we've got loads of things at London North. Alright, then let's have a look at this East Coast Main Line. Uh, as you can see, I've been slowly putting in um, optional depots along the line. Uh, we've got one there, we've got one here, and um, I think there's one, yep, there's one just over here as well. Slightly different design here. This one's slightly wider. 
I had the space to do it, and I thought, well, if I do this wider, I don't have to bother with tunnels. Um, so that one's working out for me okay. So let's have a look at our station list, and we're going to go drop down, total weight in cargo, and sort by that. And yeah, London North is really, really our biggest problem right now. There's not really much point in putting more at London North unless there's the demand for it at other places along the main line. Like Stevenage, uh, Peterborough. Peterborough's got quite a few. Uh, what's next? Where's the next one? There's Newark. Yep, Newark's got loads now, actually. It's really starting to expand. Um, they've gone and put a, a, a football stadium on the other side of the line there. And then we go up to Doncaster, which is again busy. York? York looks like it could be busy too. So yeah, we're going to need um, more trains on the main line. And we haven't actually got any trains at, um, depots at York. So we're going to just slightly rework this. Now we've got six length trains. So we need to be able to leave a space for uh, six length trains on the exit of our station here. And what we'll do is we'll bring them together like that then bring it out, then in. Now, that has a small chance of slowing down um, the trains that have just made that manoeuvre. So, so we don't slow them down, we're going to make an amendment to that. We're going to just do this. Oops. So remember, a train might slow down if it turns the same way um, in the same direction within its train length. So if it does like two left hand turns or something. Uh, and that extra space there just means that we can fit in some optional depots here. There we go, brilliant. Optional depots around the station. Just because there's no room to put depots anywhere else. We could put depots along this stretch line and what I'll probably do is between episodes is add a couple more sets of those depots. I mean, we the la I think the last set of depots is there so it'd be good to have probably some here. In fact, I'll tell you what, I will build one set. I will build a set right now. Let's put the station list over there out of the way and I'll show you how I do it because it's been a while, I think. So we're going to start from a random signal. We'll, we'll start from here and after that signal we're going to come out two so that we've got room for the depot. Uh, we're going to go along uh, six. Uh, let me just check that. Yep, there's six. 7 to be where the depot is, like that, and then another 6 to allow our trains plenty of room for merging out and merging in again. And there we go. This one's pretty simple. When you've got the space to do it and you've only got a two track line, this is probably one of the, yeah I've got a signal there that's in the way, this is probably one of the easiest ones to do with the best efficiency relatively straightforward so if you if you don't like complex and super efficient stuff then this is a very good option it's a very good option and you can leave the signals on the main line like that you could make them a little bit tidier but really the only things we're going to do is we're just going to remove the signal directly after the junction block here and put them yeah, and put signals just before so this, this bit here where the train merges down in, that's a junction block. Um, technically all these straight bits are junction blocks, except there's no junction, it's just a block. Okay, so it's not a junction block, it's a block. So that's a block, but this is a block as well. And in this block, uh, we've got signals going into the block. And then we want the same down here, so we've already got a signal on the edge. Uh, we can put another signal there going in as well. And that will do. That will serve our trains okay. Um, excuse me, my eyes have gone funny. We've got some bad depots down here, but I'm I'm going to convert them into diagonal depot stops. And then round here we could probably do with some depots, but we're a bit busy with our coal network, and our coal network is definitely something that needs some love. Um, we'll take a look at that. Looking at the station list again, it's nearly all passengers and stuff. We're going to turn off... Uh, we're going to turn it to trains only because a lot of the buses and trucks are kind of 
auxiliary stations or things like that. Iron Ore Hub South has got quite a bit of iron ore waiting at it. So we can click this button here to get the list of trains and we can just go which way around are the trains coming in? They're coming in here so we'll choose a depot before they come into the station and there is two different types of trucks. I want to mind we'll, we'll clone this train. We'll, we'll send an extra three trains in. We've got three, three and a half million in the bank right now so I'm just going to pause the game slightly to allow us time to have a good look at what's going on. Now let's move on down here and just have a quick check. Yep, that's okay. I can see here that one of our farms we've got a bit of a build up of grain. So um, let's get this depot here and clone out a couple of grain trains. Uh, we've got one on. No, is that grain? Yeah, that's grain. We've got one on the way, so we'll send two more there. And Coal Hub pick up north here, and Coal Hub pick up south both have quite a lot of coal at it so maybe we could add a couple of extra trains to the loop around here are these trains making money that's what I need to know now now we've moved this now nah, you see we didn't move that power station long ago did we so I don't think the trains will have actually caught up on the making of the money there yet Though these trains are making quite a lot of money per year. Some of them here have missed out and I don't know why. Um, but let's just have a look at the full list. Looking at the full list, sort by profit last year. We've got a good number making 300,000 and a few that didn't make any. Which is a bit weird. Um, they're not new or anything like that. Let, let's get a couple let's get a couple of trains anyway we've got one entering the depot here so we'll choose the other depot and actually we'll, we'll clone that train clone and we'll have two of them and send them on their way so that's a bit more on the coal loop um, we've got London North Exeter transfer Exeter transfer has still got quite a lot of passengers at it how many trains have we got going through Exeter transfer at the minute three just on that short little journey there and what are those trains doing are they just transferring transfer and leave empty so it at extra halt yeah we've got quite a lot of passengers going to london south where have they come from see look 995 of those passengers have come from exit transfer let's let's get another train going on this little this little line uh, that will be four going on this little loop I would prefer to make it more efficient or mm, see extra halts already quite big in terms of station spread it's the maximum station spread it could be uh, in one direction but in the other direction it's quite it's it's only six long so in theory you could actually put a little station here and link it into Exeter Holt. How far out could we do that? Here. I'm kind of thinking that might be a good idea because if we get too many trains coming from Exeter to transfer down here into Exeter... Oh, it's okay because we've got... Our trains are split between two sets of platforms. Right, I'm going to keep it in mind. We we could make these tracks from Exeter Transfer go round and under this sort of sawmill area into a little station here. But we're not going to do that right now. We're, we're just going to leave it as it is and see how it goes with adding one extra train. So the next up on the list, we've got London North, Doncaster, Peterborough, and Newark as some of the top places that need more stuff now the east coast main line i think is the only place where we're doing mail so let's have a look at these trains and see what proportion of them are actually full of mail let's have a look capacities so we've got capacities for lots of passengers and some mail and our t our current cargo here we go okay so this this train appears to be not the best example but so, um, the capacity on the mail is 30 so we're not really maxing out 
any of the carriages there for that train. I don't know which one of the two I picked there. Oh, here we go, look. So this train's got, it's come from London North and it's completely full of everything. And this train just came from, I think it was Stevenage. Yeah, now we've got try quite a few trains coming in and out of Stevenage. Um, the orders are looking fine. And again, a random assortment. We're not kind of full on either one. We're not max. For example, what I'm looking for is that we're not maxing out on mail and leaving with no passengers. Um, so if we had two mail vans, both full and hardly any passengers, we probably need to add another mail van onto these trains. So we're, this is one of the trains leaving Stevenage. And you can see it's full of everything. And then we've got trains coming from Newark. Uh, well, this one's going to Peterborough from, from Newark. And this one is almost full of people from York. This is the problem with cargo distribution and having long lines. You, you've got a train there that's gone through Newark, not even touched it, because all the passengers, nearly all the passengers, are from York. But... Having said that, if we look at the list of trains on this line, there's 25 of them. Uh, we've got a few that didn't really make a lot of money last year. We've got some that made loads, like 200,000, which is great. We've got a few down here that didn't make so much, and then a couple that didn't really make any. And I think it's because they're the new ones, or relatively new. They've all got high numbers, look. Uh, I don't know what that blue line means, actually. No idea what that blue line means. Where is it? So this is heading for Newark, that train. So let's start a bunch of new trains off on this main line. Uh, let's unpause the game. We've got two million in the bank. I think we'll keep the mail vans as are, as they are. We've got two trains broken down there. That's another thing we need to do. Make sure that we don't need to do any uh, renewal of vehicles so we've got one there I think we could probably get away with another four for now and we'll see how things go um, one of our farms has still got too much grain but hopefully th I think this is the one that we added the extra grain trains um, really starting to pump that in now I think the production of some of these farms have started to increase oh look at this Percent transported, 57%. Uh, That's terrible. That's terrible. We need a statue of the company owner in the town. And we need another train. Is there just one train that does that route? No, there's two, but one's stuck in the depot. Why is it stuck in the depot? Because there's no signals on this line. Oh my goodness. Are we going inside or outside with the signals? Outside. Wow, that's really going to improve the efficiency round there. <laughs> uh, let's just check on some of these other places. So, ratings, 67%, 67% transported. Mm, yeah, those ratings aren't great. Let's, let's add one more train. One more shuttle train there. How are these ratings over here? 67% good again. That one's quite a long line. I think we've got three on that line already. We have. I think we're alright with that one. So let's just go to the local authority and fund the statue of the company owner. Remember, this gives you a boost of 10% in the ratings. And that's important because the more ratings you have, the more goods you get from an industry. So you can see there, our ratings are now at 68%. Uh, give it another couple of days, that will say 69, there we go. And it will go up to 70 because we're, we're slowly adding that 10% from adding that statue of the company owner. So you can see here, our third train is nearly back by the time... Sorry, our first train is nearly back by the time the third train is still loading. So we've got enough trains there, that's good. Uh, London South has still got quite a few passengers at it. That's fine. Uh, Exeter Holt is actually now starting to fill up with lots of passengers as well. 
So I think maybe we can throw a couple more trains at this. Now we are feeding our trains from the Exeter side and we've got a train that's lost. Right, why have we got a train that's lost? We've got a train here uh, it's trying to get to London South. Oh my goodness, did I close the wrong thing? Oh no. No, that's okay. It, it's, it's just trying to go to the wrong place. Skip order, you're fine. Forget about it. Are you okay? Yeah, you, every, uh, every other train's fine. Don't know how that train ended up doing what it was doing there. But let's clone out a couple there and we'll do a couple over here as well. Perfect. There we go. So we're adding trains, we're looking for inefficiencies, we're looking for things where um, stuff isn't growing, we're carefully spending the money, uh, we could fund new buildings. Uh, yeah, we've got the money to do it, we're going to do that. So now our town grows every four days. Uh, what do the local authority think of us? Our local authority think we are excellent, we're no longer poor which probably means we should actually get some more roads put in before they start building out more roads. Now the roads that I'm doing here are not the most efficient roads, but they're relatively efficient compared to the how easy it is to place the grid down. Just do build some roads for the town and it makes it it makes it grow faster. Confirmed. We did a scientific test about that. Um, it looks like they've they've actually started coming round here and starting Envelop in smaller towns as well. So we're going to start looking at how we're going to grow these bits up as well. There we go. Start to get our grid embedded into the town. Um, just kind of ignore what the t <laughs> what the town's done and hope everything will be fine. We've got another train that's lost. Really? You're trying to get to Exeter Holt, that's why. Skip your order and go to London South. Now this depot we don't want to keep there. We don't need that. Oh, oh! We've got a factory that's been destroyed by a helicopter. Under suspicious circumstances. One of the disasters in this game. Uh, it's not one of the factories we're using, and even if it was, they'd build them back up again anyway. So Newark is full of passengers, but we added more trains to that recently, so that's good. Um, Newark is growing, but I'm not sure that our single bus is really helping that much. Town grows every 285 days. Let's get one more bus. Try and get make sure that we are visiting all of these Newark stations every, uh, well, I think it's three months that it requires. Peterborough's growing lovely. I don't think we're going to need that lot anymore. Growing every 67 days. How many buses? We've got one bus here as well, have we? Yeah, and it's in the depot for some reason. Well, don't be in the depot. And let's have two of you. Let's, let's grow these towns. Uh, you can see that Peterborough is starting to build on the other side of the tracks now. So we can do things like this just to, just to help it. Um, I don't mind too much the fact that it's, that it's a bit of a weird road layout. But, oh no, we don't want that. We don't want roads going across our track like that. Okay, how's our money situation looking? We've got nearly 2 million in the bank and we're making 20 million on train income. Our property maintenance is 12 million. Wow. So that's not good. That's not good. But oh yeah, we're all right. We're making a profit. We're able to spend new, the money on new trains. This iron ore hub south needs more trains. Of course it does. This was relatively new, this iron hub or hub south so we'll throw two more trains at it for now we do actually need to connect up more iron ore mines and I don't know how many there are around here let's have a look map of the world industry mode and turn off town names and we can disable all the industries and just have iron ore mines on yeah we've really only got two options 
for extra iron ore mines. So we've got this hub south. There's one more iron ore mine right down the bottom there. And then I think there's an iron ore mine somewhere. Yep, there it is. There's one there as well. And there's not that much from there. I'm more tempted to work closer up here where we... There's a few more iron ore. See, there's, there's a double iron ore mine here. And they don't do much yet, but they should do sometime soon. We head over to London North. We've still got lots of passengers there, but you can see that we're now starting to serve our existing stations better. There's less of these passengers and uh, stacking up at places like Peterborough and Doncaster. Our coal hub is still running. Still got lots of coal to be done. Uh, that reminds me, how is our how are our feeder stations doing and stuff? So we've got this here, sixty-seven percent transported. Do we need more trucks? I don't know. Except, oh, hang on a minute. This one shut down, and I did put the trucks away, but I never sold them. So let's do that. Well, that's unfortunate. Have we got any more coal mines around here? Because sometimes they do pop up. So let's just turn off iron ore mines and turn on coal mines. Yeah, there is one, actually. There is one. There's a new one just down here. There we go. It's here. I don't know if that was one there before. Um, how am I going to hook it up? Probably not. Probably not yet. Maybe that's something we'll do later. How are we doing over here with the ratings? 62%. 63% transported. We need more vehicles on that on that road. We need more vehicles on that road to get better transport numbers. Uh, this one's not too bad. And the station itself... Ooh, 58%. That's terrible ratings. Local authority... Um, build statue of company owner and we need more trains here let's put another another two trains on there make sure it's all good uh, iron ore hub south still needs another train it's a long distance for these trains to travel I wonder how much money they're making if anything let's have a look um, right uh, that one's in profit not, not great <laughs> it's not going good yet it will be i'm sure that one will be fine uh and again london peterborough doncaster all full of passengers needing to be shifted uh york as well so this main line is somewhere where i think we're going to have to just put more trains on it um here we go there's some trains coming into london now so we'll clone uh three of them four of them let's do loads of them throw the trains at it and the coal hub um, still running fantastic and those trains making really good money like I said we've got a load down here that didn't do so well last year but I've got a funny feeling they might be doing pretty good soon right then um, well that is going to be all for now we've done a lot of tweaking fixing upgrading and and trying to get more money out of our network and i think that's working quite well we've got three million in the bank and uh, we've got plenty of money to spend next episode next episode we're going to start our london to manchester um line it's going to this is going to be one of the biggest main lines we've put in we're going to have three big ones for now so we've got the east coast main line which goes from london stevenage peterborough and so forth We've got the London Exeter, which I was originally going to put another town along the way, or two, maybe a stop at Newbury or something, but there's just no decent-sized towns in good positions. I think Bristol's probably the closest we get to having a good-sized sized town along the way, whereas our route out to um, Manchester goes near Birmingham, which is going to be absolutely fantastic, and we've, we've saved the space there with some track. Um, it's going to be really good. That's going to be a fantastic line to work on. I'm looking forward to it. I hope you are too. But that's going to be all from me for now. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, yeah, ta-ra!